Alright guys, this is Purposeard and welcome to episode 6 of our Dynasty Warriors 8 Let's Play Extreme Legends Complete Edition. We are going to go Zhu Huang in the Battle of Imperial Escort. Now my question for this episode isn't entirely to do with this game. It is basically just let me know any other games you would like me to try out. Now it's obviously very hard because I'll probably get about a dozen different types of games that some I've maybe played before that I know some I've maybe never played some games I've maybe played and don't like so just put down anything and I'll get back to it in a special episode at one point there is no truer path than that of the warrior Let's go. So in case you haven't guessed, we do fight Yuan Shao's army. We've also got Yuan Shu, which is Yuan Shao's cousin, I think. One, two, three, four. Nice. Yeah, so I defeated these two. So let's go this way. Let's go you. Someone's taken the carriage. Good job I got there on time, because I think if it was back, then it'll probably be games a bogey. Alright, we climb before it gets here. Uh, 
go. Round and round and round. Ooh, nice big jump. I honestly didn't mean to jump. Perfect. Let's see them, won't I? come out alone because I don't need anybody else. As I have just proven. I killed him then if Lee Jade blocked it. Let's just continue though to meet the carriage. Oh, my chair just made a weird noise there. I'm probably getting too heavy for it. Blue boo. So blue booze in his way. I shall remember your efforts. You shall so so so. When you go in here, I think yeah, you can only Usually, uh, in fact, I don't think you think you get a map. But as you go further in, oh, you just kind of turn it. Oh, perfect. Wrong. Let's go this way then. Oh wait, didn't know we could turn them out. Oh, it must be set that out the fog's area, perfect. That's fine. But look at the morale. The morale was pretty much 90% in my favour. There. Maybe I should get my horses up here. Well, let's go and my wee horses so I'm running a bit quicker. Oh, there he is, there. I can see him. Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing, mate? Really? Right, Master Emperor, let's go, come on. Move. Move. Oh wait, does he follow me, maybe? Oh, he does, aha. Here's me trying to push him. Sorry, pal. I think that looks like the exit up there. Perfect time to see what the moose is. And what is doing on it? Two, three, four.
Ah, ey, mach später, ja. I don't even know where Lobo was. Yeah, that's fine by me. I don't need to see where he is. Victory. I know what you are thinking, your highness. You think me a disrespectful and disloyal dog of the same breed as Dong Zhuo. I understand why, of course. You pretend to respect me, but you are driven by ambition. I know your kind too well. Yes. Indeed. I admit I am an ambitious man. Our desires drive us. Our hearts drive us forward. Uncontrolled. This leads to chaos. The current state of the land is a testament to this. I believe that we are capable of better. Desires can be controlled. Strength ruled with reason. Order can be restored. And now, I have a chance to realize this ambition. You wish to control the land with strength and reason? Exactly. And. At the pinnacle of such a world, I require a true symbol of power and reason. I will need you, your highness. Rather than hoping vainly for peace, I may indeed be wiser. To follow your plan. Well then, Cao Cao. As my minister, restore order to the land. As you command. Following many difficult battles during their escape, Cao Cao welcomed the Emperor into his headquarters at Zhuzhan. With the Emperor alongside Cao Cao, Zhuzhan immediately became the new capital. The Emperor was an absolute figure that the common people had no choice but to worship. That, in a sense, was yet another source of strength. With th this move, the name of Cao Cao was etched into the minds of every warlord in the land. The following year, Cao Cao turned his attention to the south. His aim was to attack Wan Castle in Jing Province and defeat its ruler, Zhang Zhu. Having decided on a plan of action, Cao Cao led an army, a large army straight for Wan Castle. Fearful for his life, Zhang Zhu immediately surrendered to the large and powerful army. As proof of his sincerity, he invited Cao Cao to a large banquet within Wan Castle. Was this a sign of humiliation, or was it a trap? No matter what the answer, Cao Cao could only proceed forward. Cao Cao and Yan Wei are about to walk straight into the lion's den. So guys, sorry that cutscene seemed to be really loud. 
on my ears. Hopefully it wasn't too loud on yours. Apologies if it was. I don't know what happened. I've not changed volume or anything. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure once more. So, pop it out. Toodle-oogle now.